everyone welcome back to my channel in today's video i am going to be showing you guys the perfumes that i have added to my collection so the first one that i have added to my collection is the juicy couture viva la juicy petal please this is their latest release from the viva la juicy line it's a beautiful perfume it has beautiful packaging it's a floral and rosy sweet fragrance it starts off with a very fresh floral and then it dries down to a more sweeter like very sweet and feminine type of floral so i found it for like 32 dollars at tj maxx i'm happy that i found the big bottle because you guys know the big bottles have more details on them okay then the next one that i have added is the viral praline and pistachio from the true fragrance and beauty brand i don't know anything about this brand but i know that this perfume was super viral and i found it and let me tell you girl i love it i don't know if you can see my dent but ever since i got it i have been using it it smells really good some people are saying it's a dupe for sol de janeiro's charosa 71 or 62 i definitely see that because of that pistachio salty sweet notes definitely could be like a good alternative but to me when i also spray it it reminds me a lot of bath and body works christmas cookies but with pistachio on top instead of like a more just plain cookie but it definitely smells sweet and edible so if you like sweet scents you are going to love this one for 17 dollars it doesn't even hurt to test it out in my opinion because i think it's worth it honestly and i don't know the notes of this because like i said i try to look up information but nothing really comes out for this so i can't tell you notes but it just pretty much smells like the two the name of it what the name is is what you smell i have also added vince caputo's chow but this one has notes of wild strawberries blackberries mandarin it also has grapefruit so it's like very fruity and citrusy in a way but the dry down it has patchouli sandalwood amber and cashmere as well so it's literally very fruity in the opening you smell all the floral notes it has in the middle and the dry down definitely smell like a little bit of a booziness to it i don't know how to explain it because it almost kind of smells like wine at the same time or like grapes that have been left out <laughs> like a very sweet almost rotten grape i don't really know how to explain it but it gives you that that scent it's mainly fruity so you know i think it's like a safe blind buy but i mean i found it for 20 dollars at ross so i was willing to take a chance but i actually really like it okay so now i have added one two three four five six seven eight perfumes i think either seven or eight if i'm counting right to my collection and i really like them so they are all from the same brand because they did send these perfume to me but they didn't tell me to talk about this on youtube i'm just choosing to do it because i actually really like some of them and like i said i'm very real when it comes to someone sending me a product i always say that i'm gonna say my honest opinion no matter if i like it or if i don't so here they are if you can see them that is seven perfumes so they are all from okcha they reach out to me because they have a new collection which is the candy collection pretty much okcha is another brand that makes inspiration of perfumes just like dossier so they pretty much do the same thing you can find high-end fragrances for cheaper but i will say girl that their collection their perfumes i had heard of them but i never tried them but girl they're super cute like the packaging the presentation is everything it is literally super cute the boxes they come in they're magnetic like excuse me and the bottles are just freaking gorgeous and they are all straight de parfums <laughs> so they are stronger and will last longer so the one that i'm gonna share with you first that they sent me which i didn't know when i saw it and i looked it up i was like oh, are they spying on me and like looking at what i like because i remember asking a dossier like please make a sol de janeiro charosa 62 perfume dupe they sent me a version of charosa 62 and girl i don't know if they just sent it to me because they had it and they knew i wanted something like this because i went on their website and it does not exist on their website so i don't know what the deal with that is but this one is all white super cute and it's called kissed 
glow and as soon as i smelled this one i was like oh my god it smells exactly like the 62 and i love it thank you so much okja for sending this to me because i didn't know they were gonna send it and when i opened it i was super surprised and very happy that they sent me this because it smells so freaking good <laughs> okay so now let's move on to the candy collection so there's a few here that i really liked and there is some that i didn't really like so let's start off with one that i love so we can keep it positive so the watermelon jam is inspired by the jolly rancher watermelon candy okay when i heard that i was like girl i hate synthetic watermelon scent so i was kind of like i might not like this the notes are watermelon pear berries and melon and when i sprayed it do look at the atomizer is that not freaking nice? But I really, really like this because I do get that watermelon fragrance from like a Jolly Rancher. Everybody's eating Jolly Ranchers. But I feel like that jasmine and the cedar wood like really don't make it to be such a synthetic watermelon scent because i know if it did smell like that i would absolutely hate it and i really like this i think this is like such a nice sweet but not extremely sweet fragrance and i think this is going to be like great for the springtime it's really cute and i also didn't say but they actually have a sample set for the candy line so if you wanted to test out and it's only 12 dollars if you wanted to test out every fragrance that is in the candy collection you, you can and that way you can see if you really like it to buy a full bottle which is which i think is amazing because then you don't have to risk it for 12 dollars it's not really that much so you can smell all of them and see which ones you really like let's move on to another one this one is pink euphoria so pink euphoria is inspired by skittles and i was like oh my god skittles girl we're gonna be smelling like a freaking piñata this one has notes of juicy melon fresh citrus sugar coating raspberry strawberry cherry and vanilla musk and caramel so let's go ahead and give her a spray it smells so freaking good dude and like i was kind of iffy because i'm like who's gonna want to smell like skittles who's gonna want to smell like jolly ranchers like candy they literally did these so nice where you don't just straight up smell like candy like all the other notes that it has in there make it like this one literally smells like very, very juicy and sweet fragrance very fruity and it does smell like candy but it still has that perfume like element I guess you can say if you're a gourmand lover that you just love extremely sweet fragrances you're going to love these girl like trust me this one is called Colorama Col girl I don't even know how you pronounce this so this one is inspired by coke girl yes coca-cola like the soda <laughs> the soda it has notes of orange sparkling ginger lemon lime cinnamon nutmeg clove jasmine vetiver sandalwood and amber i was like first off when i heard that this one was coke i was like Who's, who wants to smell like coke <laughs> but it's so trippy it smells like coke it smells like soda it's you know what it smells like it smells like those soda gummies that they are literally shaped like coke bottles that is what this smells like it, it smells like what that tastes like now i don't hate it but this is not something that i want to smell like like i wouldn't wear this i think it's a fun perfume to have in my collection to show people like oh look smell this like it smells like coke but i would not wear this i don't know there's no way i told my sister I'm gonna give it to you because she drinks a lot of coke and I'm like when you feel like drinking coke spray yourself with this and maybe that will um take the the wanting to drink a lot of soda away <laughs> the next one I have is sugar rush so this one is inspired by Swedish fish this one has notes of fresh apple red cherry pineapple raspberry and peony this one smells really nice too I really like it it does smell like the Swedish fish. It, it smells like a cherry fragrance, but a very sugared cherry fragrance. And I think the reason why I really like it 
is because it doesn't just smell like food. It just smells like a very sweet cherry fragrance. And I'm not the biggest fan of cherry when it's like, when it has like super deep, darker, smoky notes. I don't like that. So usually sugary cherries are my go-to. It's really nice. I know it has musk in the nose, but I don't smell no musk or amber. There's nothing for my nose at least that picks that up. All I pick up is very sugary sweet cherry and I love it. I think it's very fresh as well even though it is extremely sweet. So let's go into the one that I didn't like. So this one is called Choco Break and this one is inspired by Kit Kats. Now I was really excited for this one because I'm like I love chocolate girl. I love chocolate. So this one has notes of hazelnut cream, caramel, chocolate, buttermilk, coconut. The base notes have patchouli musk, vetiver vanilla, and cedar wood. Now, right there is where I think is where I don't like it in the dry down because it has patchouli and vetiver and musk. And those are very strong type of notes that i tend to stay away from patchouli sometimes i do like it in certain perfumes but not all of them and vetiver as well this one when you first spray it you get that chocolate it does smell like a kick out when you first spray it but then you let it dry down it starts to dry down and you don't smell no more buttermilk no more like cocoa no more coconut it turns into a very strong and deep fragrance that is not something I would wear personally. So I don't know if their intention was to make it like a chocolate perfume, but not exactly just like milk chocolate. They, want, they wanted to add like other notes to make it like a little bit more perfumey and not just like straight up chocolate milk or something. For me, it just didn't work because it smells too strong and too deep that it almost leans masculine in my opinion. This is like the only one that I didn't genuinely like that I'm like, I don't like the scent of. So this is this one for me was a flop. Now this one was my favorite one out of all the freaking collection. This one is called Peach Rings. So this one is inspired by Peach Rings. This one has notes of juicy ripe peach, bergamot, mandarin orange, red berries, apricots, jasmine, and cedarwood, and musk. Oh, it smells so delicious. It's sweet, peachy, fruity, very fresh also. It smells so good. You get a lot of that citrusy note as well because it has a bergamot. But I loved it. This was my favorite, favorite one. But anyways, that is all the perfumes that I have added recently. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. And also, if you're still here, I wanted to make like a quick little announcement. I usually never get hate comments like ever. I think I've only gotten like two in my whole life. But I wanted to say something because sometimes I see hate comments on other people's uh, videos, whether it be YouTube or TikTok. Literally, this advice or thing I will just tell you right now can apply to your life in any situation whether it is you trying to buy a house you trying to move up at your work it doesn't really matter but it applies to everybody's life I want you to know that there will always be people who want you to do bad not everybody if you have somebody that when you achieve something in your life no matter how big or small it is but it's an achievement to you and you tell that person and you genuinely see them like light up and be very happy for you keep those people around and i will say that they're very rare okay there's not a lot of people that are like that a lot of people sometimes just want to get a negative reaction out of you because they don't have anything to do with their boring ass life they don't have anything going for them like they don't have anything that is like adding to their life they're just stuck in the same place and whenever somebody they know or somebody they see even if it's a stranger online they see that they're doing something or they're doing whatever it is it bugs them it bugs them because it's not them if you ever have a person like kind of shit on you because of something that you're achieving and it makes you feel kind of like oh maybe it's not good enough because like there they make a little side comment like, just remember that your life is yours and even though some people say like there could be toxic parents they say i gave you life because of me 
that doesn't matter honestly and as some people might find that rude but i don't because at the end of the day you're an individual person they could also be hateful and low-key like hating um because there are toxic parents like that i'm not saying by experience i'm not talking about my parents but i'm just kind of saying as an example because sometimes you wouldn't think like my own mother my own father sibling but there is there's a lot of jealousy in people so remember that it's your life you're an individual and you're the only person who controls your life so if anybody ever gives you like a negative comment a negative side note all they're doing is spilling out all their negativity that they feel towards themselves or have around them so that they can feel a little bit better and i know sometimes words can hurt but like i said at the end of the day it's just you and yourself you may have a husband you may have a parent you may have a this but at the end of the day, it's going to be what you feel for yourself and how you are happy with yourself. You can take advice from other people, but it shouldn't be taken to heart or exactly like you shouldn't do exactly what another person says. If you feel like it's right for you, then do you and go at your own pace and don't pay mind to any negativity because like I said, those people who just go out on the world or telling people negative stuff, especially when it's a stranger, girl, especially when it is a stranger that you don't even know, they could literally go to hell because you don't even know them. They have no importance in your life whatsoever. Let them talk. So yeah that's just a little advice girl because i've been seeing a lot of negativity around like online and stuff and i'm like i just don't understand why people get online and like just be negative be all nasty and crusty to other people that they don't even know it's like you really have such a sad life that you don't that like that's all the time you have you're literally wasting your time time is so precious girl we barely have enough of it so like why are you wasting your time being a nasty hoe being nasty to other people that you don't even know i'm just saying apply that to online and offline real life whatever you want but that's my message at the end of the day is worry about yourself and don't let anybody tell you otherwise unless you're like out here murder murdering people girl like no um but anyways i hope you guys enjoy this video and i will see you in my next one